Hey guys, what's up? It's Pastor Todd with your two-minute devotion for today. And today we're going to continue in Joshua chapter 8. And so far in Joshua chapter 8, we've seen that God made the people of Israel go back and fight that little country of Ai again. Remember, they lost to him the first time, but God makes them go back and fight him again. And this time, following God's plan and with God's blessings, because they've gotten rid of the sin, they defeat them very, very easily. And what I think is really cool is after this battle, we find Joshua setting up an altar to say thank you to God, to worship God, to praise God, to, to offer thanksgiving for what God had just done. And again, we've already seen Joshua do this once. When they crossed the Jordan, remember, he sent people from the 12 tribes of Israel back in to get a river stone to set up an altar to say thank you. But the altar wasn't just to say thank you, it was a reminder. So anytime people pass by, they'd be like, oh yeah, that's right, God is faithful, God provides. And it's not just Joshua, we see this throughout the Old Testament. When God shows up, when God does something to bless somebody, uh, they said they build an altar to say thank you and to remind themselves of God's faithfulness. And I think this is a, a great lesson for us is that when we receive something from God, and here's the thing, you say, well, how do I know it's from God? Anything good is from God period. Everything good in this world is from God. And you might say, well, I worked hard to do it. Yeah, you did, but it's still from God. So anything good we get, we need to say thank you to God. And, and not just a quick, oh yeah, thanks, but to really thank and praise God for what he's done. And, and, and here's the reason why, because when we are not thankful, we start taking things for granted and we stop appreciating them. And then we start looking at what we don't have rather than what we do have, right? Like we will see all these things that we have, all these clothes, all these toys, all these possessions, all these electronics. And we're like, yeah, but I still need this because that's the newest. That's not being appreciative. When we're not thankful, we start to take things for granted and, and, and we think we need more, right? We, well, I've got this, but I've got to have the newest. I've got, well, when we get more, guess what? We're not happy. We want even more and we keep wanting more and more and more. And, and really we never appreciate it or never happy. More is not going to make us happy. What's going to make us happy is a heart that's appreciative for what we have. That's what God is trying to teach us. That's what Joshua sees. So we need to make sure that we're saying thank you to God for everything he gives us. And not just saying thank you, but have a heart and an attitude of appreciation so that we appreciate it. We see it as a gift. We love the giver and we grow in grace. Hey guys, I thank you for joining me today and I hope and pray you have an awesome week and we will look forward to seeing you as soon as we can. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.